मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम हियर अगेन फॉर माई कोर्स इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडाइनमिक्स आई एम डॉक्टर वाई डी द्विवेदी प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग हैदराबाद इंडिया टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ड्यूएल साइकिल इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द प्रोसेस सो एज ऑफ नाउ यू हैव सीन दैट आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ऑटो साइकिल डीजल साइकिल रैंकिन साइकिल and we have seen that how the auto cycle is differing from the diesel cycle and how both are different we have also discussed that what are the advantages and the, the disadvantages and why we don't use in aircraft the diesel engine so there are some disadvantages of diesel engine and there are few disadvantages of the petrol engine and the combination of the good thing of both the engine a new cycle was developed and that is known as the dual cycle and in this i am going to discuss the following topics introduction to dual cycle or the mixed cycle dual cycle operations dual cycle processes so in the previous lecture i have discussed about the diesel cycle why this diesel cycle is required pv and the ts diagram of the diesel cycle why constant volume heat rejection in auto and the diesel cycle both why does heat addition happen at constant pressure in diesel cycle efficiency of the diesel cycle this we have discussed in my previous lectures so now dual cycle or the mixed cycle the dual combustion cycle also known as the mixed cycle trickler cycle cylinder cycle or the sabathe cycle is a thermal cycle that is combination of auto cycle and the diesel cycle so i have just now told that the better things are the good things of the auto cycle and the good things of the diesel cycle are taken and then it is a club and this credit goes to the first introduced by the russian german engineer that is called gusto trinkler who never claimed to have developed the cycle himself heat is added partly at the constant volume like the auto cycle it is called isochoric and the partly at a constant pressure it is called the isobaric process the significance of which is that more time is available for the fuel to completely combust because of lagging characteristics of fuel this cycle is in in invariably used for diesel and hot spot ignition engine so this is used for diesel cycle and this engines these things are this cycles are used it consists of two adiabatic and uh, the two constant volume and one constant pressure so in this two adiabatic means one is the adiabatic compression then one is iso uh, constant volume ignition and then constant pressure and expansion again adiabatic and the heat rejection is constant volume so here we have two adiabatic two constant volume and one constant pressure process we have in this cycle so dual cycle operations i will i will be discussing here so here we will have the process 1 uh, and 2 it is called the isentropic compression then we have the process 2 3 it is called addition of heat at a constant volume then you can see here that here we have 1 to 2 it is from here to here this is the constant volume heat addition that is constant volume compression from 2 to 3 it is addition of heat at a constant volume here 2 to 3 next we have another ts diagram so here 3 to 4 is addition of heat at a constant pressure this one so it is a constant volume from here to here and from here here this is the then we have the next is process 4 5 it is isentropic expansion so this is the isentropic expansion up to here and next one is 5 uh, to 1 is rejection of it so this is the rejection of it so you can see here that it is a very long uh, this pressure range is very very high if you see here in the ts diagram so 1 and 2 it is a adiabatic process or isentropic 2 to 3 is isobaric 
3 to 4 is uh, 2 to 3 is isochoric, 3 to 4 is isobaric, 4 to 1 is adiabatic and 5 to 1 is uh, rejection of heat. It is also constant or isochoric process. So these things I have discussed on PV and the TS diagram of this cycle. So this is the PV and TS diagram of dual cycle. I have taken this diagram from Wikipedia as mentioned here. So I am continuing with my dual cycle. So the pressure volume diagram of actual internal combustion engines are not described well by the auto and the cycle diesel cycle. So the pressure and the volume diagram of actual internal combustion engines are not described well by the auto and the diesel cycle. An air standard cycle that can be made to approximate the pressure variation more closely in the air standard dual cycle. This was developed. A more capable approach would be to model the combustion process in both auto and the diesel engine as a combination of two heat transfer processes. One is isochoric process and one is isobaric process. So heat addition is uh, one is the constant pressure and one is the constant volume. First one is the uh, isochoric that is the constant volume and another is the constant pressure process. Compared to an auto cycle which assumes an instantaneous heat addition that is called isochoric heat addition, heat is added partly at a constant volume and partly at a constant pressure that is called it is called the that is why it is called the dual because here heat addition is first one as a constant volume that is isochoric and another one so like this and like this okay so isochoric and this is the isobaric that is why it is called the dual cycle so dual cycle means the burning or the heat addition is by the two processes that is one is the isochoric that is the constant volume and another is the constant pressure process. Therefore, the advantage is that more time is available for the fuel to combust completely. On the other hand, the use of dual cycle is slightly more complex. The thermal efficiency lies between auto and the diesel cycle. So here we can discuss this process, the uh, one and two that is called the isentropic Compression. So the gas is compressed adiabatically from state 1 to state 2 as the piston moves from intake valve closing point 1 to top dead center. The surrounding to work on the gas increasing its internal energy, temperature and compressing it. On the other hand, the entropy remains unchanged. The changes in volume and their ratio that is V1 by V2 are known as the compression ratio. The compression ratio is smaller than the expansion ratio. So here the compression ratio is smaller than the expansion ratio. Isochoric compression 2 to 3. So in this phase between state 2 and state 3, there is a constant volume. The piston is at rest. Heat transfer to the air from an external source while the piston is at the rest at the top of the center. So here, if you see here, the piston is in this condition. So this process is similar to the isochoric process of the auto cycle. It is intended to represent the ignition of the fuel air mixture injected into the chamber and the subsequent rapid burning. So in this rapid burning is required. The pressure rises from P3 and the ratio is P3 by P2 is known as the explosion ratio. P3 by P2 is known as the explosion ratio. Now, if you see the isobaric expansion, that is called the power stroke 4 and 5. So in this, in this phase, state 3 and the state 4, there is a constant pressure that is called idealized mode heat transfer to the air from an external source that is combustion of the fuel while the piston is moving towards the V4. During the constant pressure process, energy enters the system as heat Q addition and a part of the work is done by the moving piston. Next one is the 5 and the 1. 
So in this, the gas expands adiabatically from state 4 to state 5. Here it is not, it is 4, 5. 4, 5. That is the adiabatic expansion. As the, as the piston moves from V3 to the bottom dead center, the gas works on the surrounding piston and the losses and amount of internal energy equal to the work that leaves the system. Again, the entropy remains unchanged. Now, isochoric de decompression, that is exhaust stroke, that is 5 to 1. In this phase, the cycle complete by a constant volume process, that is this one in which heat is rejected from the air while the piston is at the bottom dead center. So, piston is here. This is called the bottom dead center. This is the, your piston and this is the your top dead center. This is the TDC and this is the BDC. So, this we have to ensure. The working gas pressure drops instantly from 0.5 to 0.1. The exhaust valve opens at 5. The exhaust stroke is directly after this compression. As the piston moves from the bottom dead center 0.1 to the top dead center 0 0.0, with the exhaust valve opened, the gaseous mixture is vented to the atmosphere and the process are now a new process will start. So in the next cycle, I will I am going to discuss about the dual cycle analysis and the mathematical expression for the dual cycle. So we have seen the processes of the dual cycle. In this, we have the five processes. In the previous auto cycle and the diesel cycle, we were having only the four processes. In this one additional process, in the heat addition, we have done it. And we will be doing the mathematical analysis of this process in my next class. Till then, we will. Uh, these are the expression. For, this is for the references. Uh, I am taking PK Nog Engineering Thermodynamics, Tata Magra Hills, 4th edition, 2008. Yunus Senegal, Michael A. Bors, Thermodynamics and Engineering Approach, Tata Magra Hills, 7th edition, 2011. Any questions, you are welcome to ask to my email, ydduedi at the rate gmail.com. You are always welcome to send mail if you have any queries. Also, I request you to like and subscribe this channel and also give the comments in my comment box so I can see the comments and I can reply in the comment box itself. Thank you very much for the joining. Be tuned for my the next class. In the next class, I am going to discuss uh, the deriving the dual, uh, dual cycle, uh, the mathematical expression and also I will compare with diesel and the auto cycle in this in the next lecture. Thank you very much for the joining. Be tuned for my next lecture. Till then, goodbye. See you. Shabakhai. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.